Welcome back. So today we have an interesting one. We have an Audi R8, I want to say V10 Quattro, I think it is. And it's a front lip that had been ordered and damaged, I mean severely, in shipping. So they made a separate seam going all the way across. And whether they dropped the box that this was in or they dropped something on top of this, I mean the whole lip on the seam has cracked along with a couple other uh, more structural parts like this that clip right into the bumper uh, all along the top section up here which this is the back that really isn't seen too much but then we have the real important parts which is what's seen and as you can see right here I mean it is it is thoroughly thoroughly ruined uh, so what we are gonna do is take all this and we're going to bring this back to life. So what I want to start off with doing is taking all of the lifting portions. And I want to make sure that's down and sturdy. So let's get into that. All right, so first things first, what I wanna do to prep this piece is I'm just going to take my DA with a 180 grit and I'm just gonna sand down this whole inside edge to give myself a nice clean area to lay to. And then I'm gonna take some of my fiberglass matting here, mix up some fiberglass resin and just stuff it as far in as I can in here. That's the plan for right now. Let's get to da -ing. What I'm going to do is just take my fiberglass. I'm going to mix up a two in here. Take my little drill mixer. All right, now that that whole inner line is DA down, I'm just going to take my 70% isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to go over everything I just sanded. What I would recommend for the next step is if you don't have any of these, these will definitely come in handy for you, but it's these squeeze clamps right here. Highly, highly, highly recommend getting them because you don't need a lot of squeeze pressure. You just need to make sure for something like this that this line stays shut and as tight and as close as possible to the original line. All right, now we got that mixed up. I'm gonna take this, take my cup, and I'm just going to do a nice brush on layer first. So as you can see, I have this thing face down so it all drips right into that little crack in there. What you got to be careful of now is just not to get it on anything that you don't want. Grab one little piece of my fiberglass. Just take this and fold it over and this has to now get wedged in. Got my little popsicle stick for that. Wedge that all the way down. So it can bind both of those pieces. All right, so step one is done. We have this now curing in here. What I did was obviously I laid my resin in, took my fiberglass, laid the fiberglass in, resin over that, and now down here, I put an extra layer and added a little bit of carbon just to give that middle some rigidity, just so when I go to flip this right in the middle, it doesn't start to bow out. Uh, just so it doesn't bow out and then recrack, because I'm gonna then have to take this side, I'm gonna have to do the same thing to this flip side.
All right, so I was really hoping I was gonna be able to salvage one of the important parts, but unfortunately I just can't. There is not enough for me to salvage, which is right here. So this has now been sanded down, sanded this thing down with 180 grit. Uh, and all this whiting that you see is just where the resin released from the carbon. So what I'm gonna have to do for a patch is I have to lay a whole new piece of carbon there, which, you know, it sucks. It's gonna it's gonna change it up a little bit, but it's you need the structure right there because that is right where the front of the lip is. That's gonna see the bulk of the rock chips, the bulk of pretty much everything that you're gonna be throwing at this. So what I have to do is I have my carbon already laid up. I'm going to take a little bit of my resin and just apply a nice thin layer of resin and then lay down that carbon. So what I'm gonna do now is shape this thing up a little bit. Uh, the carbon and once I lay that resin down I'm gonna lay the carbon right on top of it and I have some of my resin release tape over here If I can get the right draw my resin release tape and I'm just gonna lay that all through this side So it can conform properly to this edge just so it's a nice fresh piece of carbon and it's Mint perfect so let's start doing that All right, so I would say we got pretty much one of the hardest parts done, which was getting that new piece laid. So, from all those little divots and scratches that were in there, you can now see we have a nice fresh piece of carbon now laid. Glossed out, looking absolutely beautiful. The one thing that we are going to have to do later on is obviously just sand that thing down and then add either another coat or if we get it to sand down really nice and easy, we could just add a form of clear coat over that, which would be obviously a huge plus. Uh, another thing is I ended up just not even using my resin tape. It glassed out so nice. I'd rather just be able to keep the resin that's up there, up there and not sliding off. Um, another thing is this piece right here is this super, super uh, mashed up piece that's going to have to be taken care of. Once this thing fully cures, this is already cured up over here. I love that fiberglass resin. Cures so nice and quick. Now, I'm going to have to give this a day to, excuse me, to fully cure uh, because I did have to use my clear resin on that because it's obviously something seeing you don't want the green tinted resin. So for now, we're going to let that thing cure and then when we come back. We're going to take off my little side pieces of resin tape and we are going to get to some sanding and then fix that top piece that is going to snap in as the brackets. Let's do it. All right, so with that done now, it is looking really, really good. It glassed out very, very nicely as you can see by the little, reflect the little reflection there. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start attacking this piece up here and I'm going to end up doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to make a nice little cutout so that it's all the same exact style right over here. A nice piece of carbon and just do the same layup with this. Let's do that.
Alright, this is getting a little bit too long, so I'm going to make it a separate video. But we just got our resin tape off of here, and it's looking good. It's looking really good. So what this has to do now is I'm going to let this thing cure for the re remainder of the time because it needs a little bit more time before I can sand it, which is, uh, again, well, not again, but which is why I want to make it a separate video. So I'm going to let this thing cure in the sun for a little longer, and then we could sand it down fully, add another layer, and then hopefully that'll be it. Because then this down here just has to get sanded, and then clear. We can put some clear on it. I still don't know if I want to clear it, or if I want to just do another coat of resin, we'll figure that out. I'll see you in the next one.